In previous class, we learned up to question number 115, Determinants Objective JEE. In this class, we will learn from question number 116 to question number 130. In this, question number 116 and question number 117 are belongs to related to differentiation problem. Differentiation related problems. So we'll do these problems later. Now you see question number 118. And one more thing, this weekend syllabus is from question number 101 to 130. Okay. So earlier I mentioned it is a 101 to 150 uh, because of some reasons we are, uh, this week we reduced to 20 questions. So this weekend syllabus is 101 to 130. You observe this question number 118. They given f of x equal to this determinant. We need to calculate f of 2012. Okay f of x here what i'll do you observe this uh, second column in second column here x is there here x is there x is there so i can take x common from this second column so i'll take x common from the second column now you observe this uh, third row in third row here x minus 1 x minus 1 x minus 1 so i can take x minus 1 common from the third row now from the third column we can take uh, x plus 1 common. So I take an x plus 1 common from the third column. What things are remaining? First uh, 1, 2x. Here from the third row you take an x minus 1 common. Now here 3x is remaining. Now here from the second column you take an x common. Uh, 1, x minus 1. Here x, x minus 1 both taken common. x minus 2 is remaining. Here x plus 1, x plus 1, x plus 1. If you take x plus 1 common, what are remaining here? 1, x. Here x minus 1 uh, and uh, x plus 1 both are taken common. Then what is remaining here? x is remaining. That is what I written. So when I take x, x minus 1, x plus 1 common, this determinant we will get. Now you observe this determinant. All the elements of first row are 1. So what I will do, I will make this element 0, this element 0 by using column operation. C2 changes as C2 minus C1, 1 minus 1, 0. C3 changes as C3 minus C1, 1 minus 1, 0. Right? Here, this minus this is minus of 1 plus x. This element minus this element is uh, uh, minus 2 into 1 plus x. What operation I applied here? I applied that c2 changes as c2 minus c1 and c3 changes as c3 minus c1. I applied these two operations to get this. Now I'll expand this determinant. See x into x minus 1 into x plus 1. If I expand this determinant 1 into this element determinant of this part right. So this element into this element that is 2x into 1 plus x minus this element into this element that is uh, x into 2 into 1 plus x. If I multiply these things what you will get 2x plus 2x square. If you multiply these two things what you will get 2x. Here minus is then a minus. Here 2x into x is 2x square. So you see here plus 2x minus 2x plus 2x square minus 2x square will get cancelled. What you will get? Here you will get 0. Here you will get 0. So 0 into this expression is nothing but 0 only. What is this? Actually, this is f of x. I got f of x is 0. Here in the question they given f of x is this determinant. They are asking f of 2012. Not only 2012, f of 2013 also 0 only, f of 2020 also 0 because here f of x is 0. So what is the right option? First option is the right option. I hope you understand this. Now we'll move to next question. You see question number 120. Uh, they are given the value of uh, one minute you see here the value of this determinant whole square minus the value of this determinant equal to what here if you do this problem direct method it is little lengthy here one tricky thing is if you observe the options here 0 1 abc 4 abc is there best thing is verification method if you go with verification method you can easily identify what things you need to observe when you do the verification method you make sure that whatever abc values you will substitute in the question all options will gives you the different answer then it is easy for us to do that problem by verification here related to abc no information is given so what i'll do i'll take a1 b1 c1 i'll substitute in this in place of a1 in place of b1 in place of c1 like that i'll substitute okay here also b square plus c square means 2 
AB means 1 into 1, AC means 1 into 1, like that I subs in this wherever A is there, B is there, C is there, there I written 1, I got this. Now I will expand this determinant, if I expand this determinant I am getting 4 here, here square is there, now. determinant is 2, 2 square is 4. Similarly I will expand this determinant, I got 4, 4 minus 4 is what, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now in the options also you put A is 1, B is 1, C is 1. Which option is giving 0 you check. When I put A is 1, B is 1, C is 1, none of these three options is giving 0. So obviously what is the right option? First option is the right option. I hope you are understanding. Now you see this question number 122. Here the value of this determinant is what? Here this seems to be a um, little bit confusing but we can do this problem very easily with verification method. Related to, you observe this question A, B, C, D. Total four things are there A, B, C, D. Okay, what I'll do, I'll take, uh, uh, here you see I taken all elements different. If I take A is 1, B is 1, C is 1 like that, if I take, then all options will become 0, then it is difficult to you to identify which option. And you can see here no two numbers I taken as same because here A minus B, B minus C, C minus D like that. I hope you are understanding. Here what happened here, I am doing this problem by verification method. If you want to know the direct solution, you can use our college material but it is lengthy. But shortcut method is doing this by verification method. While doing verification method, what things you need to keep in your mind? I take an ABC values, all are different because if I take at least any two are different, all options will become zero. Okay, I take in these values, it is not compulsory, you also must take these values. Now I will substitute these values in this determinant. Here first column 111 as usual, BC plus AD, BC that is 0 plus AD, 0 plus 2 that is 2, okay. Now CA plus BD, CA, CA that is minus 1 plus CA plus BD, BD is 0 that is minus 1, okay. Now AB plus CD, AB, AB is 0 plus CD, CD is minus 2 that is what I written, okay. Now B square, C square plus A square, D square b square c square is 0 plus a square d square is 4. Like that you substitute these values in this third column you got like this. Now what you will do you expand this determinant what you got you got minus 12. Now substitute these values in with these four options. When I substitute this uh, value see here a minus b first option you see a minus b 1 minus 0 that is uh, 1 okay b minus c b minus c is 0 plus 1 that is plus 1 okay c minus d c minus d is minus 1 minus 2 that is minus 3 okay next a minus d a minus d is uh, 1 minus 2 minus 1 okay next a minus c a minus c is uh, 1 minus of minus 1 that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 okay next d minus b d minus b is a uh, 2 minus 0 is 2 if I multiply all these things, I am getting positive answer. Actually, I need minus 12. Okay. I, like that, you substitute this. In the second option only, I got minus 12. Just for verification, I checked it in third option and fourth option also. In case the third option, fourth option also giving minus 12, then there is a problem. Here you see this uh, third option, it is a positive answer. It is a positive answer. 2, 2, sir, 4, 4, uh, 4, 3, sir, 12. This is a plus 12. Actually, we need minus 12, right? Here minus of minus plus here this is a 6 plus 6 but we need minus 12. You can easily say that second option is the right option for this. I hope you are understanding these problems. Now you see this question number 125. S equal to A plus B plus C then the value of delta this determinant is what they are asking. You see here first option 2S square 2S cube S cube 3S cube. What I'll do, I want to do this problem by verification method. In verification method, how to choose the ABC values? Make sure that when I substitute A value, B value, C value in the options, all options are giving different answer. Okay. Now, what you will do, uh, I take an A value 1, B value 1, C value 1. When A value is 1, B value is 1, C value is 1, then what is S? S is 3. Okay. Now, S plus C. S is 3, na? 3 plus 1, 4. A is 1, B is 1, C is 1, S plus A is 4, B is 1, C is 1, A is 1, S plus B is 4. Now what I will do, I will expand this determinant. What I got here, I got 54. Now what I will do, uh, I will substitute this S value, I will substitute this val S value in the options. First option, 2 into S square, that is 2 into 3 square, that is 2 into 9. Second option, 2 into 
s cube that is 3 cube 3 cube is 27 third option s cube is 27 fourth option 3 into s cube s cube is 27 actually i need 54 in these options which option is giving 54 2 into 27 is 54 right so what is the right option second option is the right option i hope you understand this now you see question number 128 cause a Determinant of cos A tan A 0 sin B 0 minus tan A 0 sin B cos C has the value. Here first option is 0, second option is 1, third option is like this they given. We need to identify. Actually this problem is very easy. No need to go for verification method also. Direct expansion I did. You see first element cos C into delete this row and this column. Determinant of this part you see 0 into cos C is 0 minus of minus plus tan A into sin B right see cos c into cos c into tan a sin b minus minus see here minus tan a minus this element it now delete this row and this column now determinant of this part what you will get tan a into sin b cos c minus of minus plus zero i hope you understand just expand it directly you see tan a cos c sin b tan a cos c sin b both will get cancelled you will get zero so first option is the right option it is very easy you observe this question number 130 the value of this determinant is what here i want to do this problem by verification method see verification method you need to be very careful sometimes the things will get very easily sometimes it will become complicated this is one of the example i just started with doing alpha is 0 degrees beta is 90 degrees so here cos 0 degrees value is 1, uh, sin 0 degrees value is 0, alpha plus beta that is 0 plus 9 degrees 90, cos 9 degrees value is 0. Similarly, sin 0 degrees is 0, cos uh, 0 degrees is 1, alpha plus beta is 90, sin 90 degrees value is 1, the as minus is there minus 1 and 1 1 1. If I expand this, I am getting 2. What I did, I substitute alpha is 0, beta is 9 degrees in the options also. 1 plus sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1. This is giving 2. Here we need 2. Okay, there is a chance this is the right option. Now I will substitute these values in the second option also. 1 plus sin 90, sin 90 value 1 plus cos 90, beta is 90 now. Alpha value, beta value substitute. So this is giving 2. There is a chance this is also right option. In third option, 1 plus sin 0 sin 0 is 0 minus cos 0 is 1 here 1 minus 1 is 0 but we need 2 here it indicates that third option is 100 percent wrong in further also you no need to check for third option third option is clearly wrong now in fourth option i substituted alpha is 0 beta is 90 degrees say 1 plus sin 90 degrees value sin 90 degrees value 1 minus cos 90 degrees cos 90 degrees value is 0 1 plus 1 is 2 so here the point is three options uh, are giving two only what i'll do immediately i'll go with another different values of alpha beta alpha is zero degrees beta is zero degrees i substituted in this and i got this determinant i expanded this determinant i got answer zero now what i'll do no need to check for the third option other than third option in remaining three options first option second option fourth option you substitute alpha is zero beta is zero when I substitute alpha is 0, what you are getting here, alpha is 0, beta is 0, 1 plus 0 plus 1, that is 2, right? But actually what I need, I need 0. So that is the wrong option. In second option also, in place of alpha 0, in place of beta 0, I will write. So here, sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1. This is also giving 2, but actually I need 0. So second option is also wrong option. Third option no need to check we came to know that that is the wrong option in fourth option i will put alpha is 0 beta is 0 here 1 plus beta is 0 na sin 0 that is 0 minus cos 0 is 1 so this is giving 0 so now we came to know that first option second option fourth option any one is correct when i take another alpha beta values i came to know that fourth option is the correct option so this is the right option i hope you understand this